Stacking physical precious metals is a journey, people. And it's filled with a lot of twists and turns, unexpected surprises. And it takes a lot of patience, but you need to be prepared for whatever comes your way. What they're... Hey everyone, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. And no, I didn't just run across a one ounce gold buffalo in the mud next to a trail. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been amazing if I had? But while that's not going to happen, there are ways to be opportunistic with silver and gold. And I'm going to tell you three ways right now. The first was when I was DM'd on my Instagram account by someone in my area looking to sell 60 silver eagles for $26 a piece. One was in a mint sealed tube. So I knew that was legit. But 26 bucks? Spot was $24 at the time. So we're talking an 8% premium for eagles a tier one silver stacking target of mine. That is an opportunity I say yes to every day of the week and twice on Sunday. <laughs> and before you fill the comments with warnings for Yankee, yes, it was legitimately his silver. Yes, the unsealed ones were tested genuine. Get a pocket pinger, people. Uh, yes, I made the exchange in a safe public place. Uh, yes, I was carrying. <laughs> All good people. But that's one way to be opportunistic with buying physical precious metals. Look for people needing to exchange their silver and gold back into fiat currency for whatever personal reasons they may have. Have some dry powder ready to make it happen. You know, a similar situation occurred last week when my cousin texted me asking if her friends could run their inheritance of gold and silver by me. Their grandfather had recently died and they didn't know what to do with his stack. They wanted to know what the coins were worth, where to sell them, and even if I wanted to buy them. Long story short, I gave a quick appraisal. I did consider buying some of the silver, but in the end, I convinced them to keep the precious metals. Yeah, the opportunity was there, but in that case, I was satisfied in educating my cousin and maybe helping birth a couple new stackers. The second way to be opportunistic with silver and gold is right here on my YouTube channel. I'm giving away this one tenth ounce gold coin when I break 150,000 subscribers. And thanks to all of you, at this pace, it's not going to take much longer. I'll be giving away this gold coin, but I'll also be giving away piles of silver coins and bars during that live stream celebration. But the gold is for all of you watching this video right now. Your opportunity to win an American Gold Eagle. Now to enter, you have to watch the video all the way through for some word clues to include in a single comment on this video, just one comment, but you gotta get the words, all right? So watch all the way through. I'll draw an eligible comment during the upcoming live stream and then post the winner on my channel. See the video description for all the giveaway rules. But another way that you can be opportunistic with gold and potentially make a huge profit is with what I think maybe the best gold junior mining company I have ever shared with you on my channel. Now, don't leave. Okay, this is legit. It's as legit as, as this uh, gold coin. It's West Red Lake Gold Mines. This one is almost unbelievable. And I'm gonna rip through three reasons why I'm personally speculating on this one in a bigger way than usual. Uh, actually, twice my normal amount. And I bet when I'm through, you're going to agree with me. So here's the first reason. Value. If you're a value investor, you probably know where I'm going here. West Red Lake Gold had absolutely horrible prior management. 
They overextended themselves during COVID. The, the management just screwed up execution. I read all about it. And they had to sell. Billionaire Frank Justra swooped in and bought it. Frank Justra, wealthy man. He owns Liongate Entertainment. But this is the guy who also built Gold Corp into the largest gold company in the world. And he's using exactly the same business model here with West Red Lake. Namely, locate a tremendous property that's you know at or near the finish line, buy it for pennies on the dollar because they screwed the thing up, put in a great management team, stabilize it, make it cash flow, and make a lot of money. Kind of reminds me of the uh, distressed real estate I've invested in over the past 15 years. Value. See, the market cap of West Red Lake Gold is only around $70 million US. The previous owners reached a valuation of $1 billion just a few years ago. So I see an upside potential of around 15, 16 times my investment, and so do others like Sprott. Second reason, new all-star management. I'm going to quickly highlight just three amazing people here. Uh, their CEO, Shane Williams. He was the chief operating officer for Skinna. He helped bring that mining company's share price from 50 cents to $16 in just three years. Tony McCooch was the CEO of Kirkland Lake Gold arguably the most successful gold mining company of the 2010s. He took them from basically nothing to a company with a market cap worth tens of billions of dollars. Duncan Middlemas was the CEO of West Dome. Duncan took that company from 50 cents to $20 a share during his leadership. These guys know exactly how to evaluate a gold resource. They know how to run a mine making millions. A lot of people don't know how to run a mine. These guys do. Third reason, the state of the property. This is crazy, guys. I've highlighted, I've invested in juniors, you know, where they're just getting started. They're, they're uh, exploration companies over on the left side of the Lasan curve. Their core samples look good, but they're not looking to go into production. They just want to prove the value and then get acquired. Not this one. The prior management sunk tons of money into their Madsen project. $350 million has already been spent. And just look at this place. It's brand new. They have a mill on site. A mill is a real strategic asset, people. So I really have never reviewed a mining company like this. That's why I am personally buying shares of West Red Lake Gold Mines. Again, twice my usual amount. It's still a speculative play. There are no guarantees that this is going to make me a huge profit, but I see the odds in my favor. And as usual, I'm willing to wait years to sell it. But with this infrastructure... I, I really wouldn't be surprised if it skyrockets in 8 to 12 months. But hey, that's me. Don't you buy a single share without doing your own research and assuming all the risk. Their ticker symbol is WRLGF in the U.S. It's WRLG in Canada. You'll find their website in the description below. So check them out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button down below and also put in a rather uh, opportunistic comment down below. And until next time, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.